before the beaches of San Antonio rediscovered, there was Potty Pot Island in Candelaria, a secret that was known only to a few travelers. Potty Pot Island is privately owned, but, it's one of those islands you should visit to seek some peace of mind or just quiet, or, more intimate moment with nature. Over the past few years, Anawangan Cove has captivated more visitors, which has also sparked a growing interest in nearby beaches. Almost in an instant, the village of Pandakwe has transformed from a sleepy fishing village into a tourist town. But tourism isn't the only thing that changed it. When Mount Pinatubo erupted in 1991, it dumped tons of ash to the shore of San Antonio. What used to be a rocky coast became a supple, shining piece of paradise that seems to have come out of a crazy beach lover's fantasy. Like Anawangu, Nagsasa Cove is strewn up with your regular sand but volcanic ash spewed by Mount Pinatubo and carpeted by a forest of sea pine trees. It has all the good things Anawangu is famous for including a natural viewpoint on a hill and a postcard-worthy inlet, but retaining the more laid-back atmosphere that has started to slip away from the other. But unlike its more popular stepsister, Nagsasa doesn't get too overcrowded, although it's starting to attract more and more tourists each year. Talisem, or Talisayan, is the quietest, it's like that one guy back in high school who sat at the very back of the class, not saying a word unless asked. Often overlooked, because he wasn't as popular as his seatmates. But Talisayam, Nagsasa and Anawangan are cut from the same cloth, made of the same volcanic stuff. But what sets Talisayam apart is that it appeals to a completely different set of travelers, those who make their own trail. Even after all these years, Talisayan has managed to avoid the crowd. Silangwan is the least crowded of all the newly rediscovered beaches of San Antonio, thanks to its remoteness. Be warned, the sandier isn't white, not even off-white. It is light gray, at best. But don't judge a beach by its color. Unlike the other coves, the water here is much shallower and less violent, making it more ideal for swimming. The reddish soil of the surrounding mountains combined with the bright greenery also makes for the best view in San Antonio. If you have more time, go fishing. The waters are so rich that fishing tours are starting to make waves. Ask your boatman about it before the trip. Island harbors a short stretch of sand that is easily accessible from Pindakwe. In fact, it is the closest to the mainland and is visible from the village. Capo Ness Island is covered in rocks on one end and strewn with fine sand on the other. You can easily recognize it by its sharp cliff that overlooks a glittering beach and is crowned by the historic Capo Ness Lighthouse. Together with Camara Island, it is a popular island hopping side trip destination. Visitors may enter the building and climb to the top of the tower. The lighthouse guides vessels to and from Subic Bay and Corregidor, 